Now, there's a word that often gets thrown around, usually by a lot of fans when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens, uh, the word disrespected. And a lot of times when I hear about that word from fans, I, I feel like they may be looking at stuff the wrong way. They may have the wrong viewpoint on exactly what that word means. Just because your favorite analyst on ESPN isn't always positively talking about the Ravens fans say that they are disrespected. But recently, from a lot of the stuff that I've been seeing from the media, uh, and from other people when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens and the way that they speak about them, and, and especially with them being such a winning team, being an 11-3 and three team, and they talk about them like they're bad. Like even Colin Coward, he talked about how they've fallen apart. Uh, Shannon Sharp in analysis, he said that Kyle Hamilton didn't even play in the last game. So it's like, man, you're not even watching highlights. You're just not watching the game at all. You, and what makes it worse, you're not even looking at a stat sheet. Because even if you look at the stat sheet, I believe Kyle Hamilton was the leading tackler for the Baltimore Ravens that night. So what are you looking at? What are you looking at to analyze the Baltimore Ravens? So it was just crazy to me. But this, this right here from Mike Florio, he straight up disrespected the Baltimore Ravens. It's like as if they didn't all, as if they didn't need extra motivation. Oh, they they got it. They certainly got it with this. And I know that some analysts, pro football talk. He ain't going to be the one making the Ravens feel like they need to win this game. I'm sure they got a million other reasons, but this just adds a little bit more fuel to their fire. Let's watch. The, the quest is for second place. That's it. As long as those people stay healthy. They're currently healthy. The 49ers kicked the hey. out of the Ravens Here. on Monday night. I'm sorry. I know that's disrespectful to the Ravens, but let's be realistic. At home, they're going to fly across the country on Christmas night, and the 49ers are waiting. And the 49ers are going to dismantle the Ravens. And it's not, it's a, if it's a Super Bowl preview, the Super Bowl is going to suck. Because the 49ers, as long as those guys are healthy. So Mike Florio, feeling like it's not even going to be close, said the 49ers are going to beat down the Baltimore Ravens. Now, what I had no problem with what he said. Because if you feel like the 49ers are going to blow out the Ravens, okay, you feel like the 49ers are going to blow out the Ravens. That's your opinion. And that's cool. But... He, like, straight up said, oh, yeah, it's disrespectful. I know it's disrespectful. I don't care, buddy. So I'm like, whoa, okay. And, and, and then the fact that, that he talked about how if this is a Super Bowl preview, Super Bowl's going to suck. I said, whoa. Like, like, look, I know our Baltimore Ravens, they ain't been the most consistent team when it comes to their offense. They ain't been the most consistent team when it comes to their defense. But one thing that you cannot deny, whether you want to talk about offense, defense, special team, whatever, they've been consistently winning. They are an 11-3 and football team. And, and, and to speak of them the way that he did, like they are some... 2-11 and 11 football team like this is just some terrible matchup on paper or something like that to speak of them the way that he did like whoa Mike Florio are, are you watching the games and, and, and I know like especially for the past couple of off seasons he had his whole little thing with Lamar Jackson and what now you know he, he was not a big fan of Lamar Jackson at all mainly because of the whole agent thing Mike Florio as an insider, as somebody who's cool with a lot of agents. Agents provide a lot of info to these NFL insiders and whatnot. So when somebody doesn't have an agent, your access is limited to that person. And when your access is limited, you can't find out all your scoops. You got to wait till what the person who doesn't have an agent, what they say. You, you got to go by off of what the team is saying. But you, you, the information that you can be provided is limited. So it did seem like when Lamar was going through his contract disputes with the Baltimore Ravens, it did seem like Mike Florio, he, he was not a big fan. And the way that he spoke about Lamar Jackson, and not that this is only about Lamar Jackson. It obviously he talked about the Baltimore Ravens as a whole, but I think that that had maybe just a little, probably a lot, but just a little to do with how he may feel about the entire Baltimore Ravens team. Um, because it's like one of them things where, you know, if you got a problem with somebody, you can have a problem with that one person. But then if you got a problem with that one person, then that problem can trickle down to people that they are associated or affiliated with. And then you just be like, oh, man, I don't like none of them. So maybe this is one of those Mike Florio things. Or maybe it's because he just always likes picking against the Baltimore Ravens. Maybe it's because he wants to bring some more advertisement to his book that he just recently dropped maybe he want profootballtalk.com to get some more hits maybe he want his show on uh nbc to get some more whatever it could be 
Maybe he just wants to drive up uh, his algorithm. It could be a lot of different things. But bottom line, uh, one of the things that it was, it was disrespectful. And but he wasn't ashamed of it. I, I do like I respect it because he he stood ten toes down on what he was saying. Did not back down at all. And even gave some reasons. He said, because the Ravens got to travel all the way to San Francisco. And he said, the 49ers, they're just sitting back and they waiting. They waiting. But he just, he didn't even get the Ravens a chance. So, like, really? Like, th do you not know these Baltimore Ravens? They always got a chance. Like, in the game, especially against the top teams. Especially against them. Like, Ravens fans, we'd we, we, we be so stressed out because, especially when they play bad teams. It's like, it almost feels like when they play bad teams, we're more stressed out than when they play good teams. Because these Baltimore Ravens, against these bad teams, they were stressed. Like, look at their losses. Look at their losses. Minus the Browns, obviously. But look at their They lost to the Steelers, man. It's like, uh, we lost to the Steelers. And every time we watch the Steelers play, I always see Ravens fans say the same thing. We lost to them? Really? Come on now, man. And we lost to and the, the Colts. Like, hey, the Colts, they, they've been doing their thing recently. So, and, and again, I spoke about the Browns, too. They obviously been doing their thing. They're right behind the Ravens right now. But um, the fact that, that they, lost, they lost the games and how they lost the games is it, it, very, very frustrating. But it is definitely respect to those teams because they beat the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but for him not to give the Ravens a chance at all, all right. oh, okay. Hey, to each his own, my friend. To, to, to each his own. Uh, but bottom line, Ravens got to play the game. A everything that talking heads are saying, everything that analysts, media, radio, everything that everybody's saying, all that stuff don't even matter. Because Ravens and 49ers, they got to decide that game on the field. And very, very soon, in a couple of days, we are going to see who comes away with the final decision. And if this will even be the final decision, because it is a real possibility that both of these two teams end up seeing each other again.